Hey there everyone, Miss B. Hanley back again, and today I am talking about the Aristotelian appeals, or the rhetorical appeals used in nonfiction. So I did make a previous video about Aristotelian appeals and how they work in our speaking and writing. However, I have since learned that I was missing a key element in this particular video, and that is a fourth type of appeal that I didn't even know about. So I've done my research and I learned a little bit more about it, and here I am to present to you not three, but the four Aristotelian appeals. So first up is ethos. Ethos is a Greek word which refers to personality or character. It is in fact Greek for character. An ethos appeal establishes the author's credibility. The ethos involves the goodwill, the good character, and the expertise of the writer or the speaker. The writer will use a persuasive value of his or her character, and they can create the impression that they are a person of sound sense, of moral high character, and benevolence or goodwill, that they mean well to their audience. So in order to exhibit this good sense or goodwill, the writer or speaker must have an adequate grasp of what the subject is. If they're talking about a subject that they don't know that well, it's going to be pretty clear that they don't know what they're talking about, and this is going to go against their ethos. Additionally, a person could exhibit their ethos by talking about how much they have read on a particular subject, having good taste or discriminating judgment, and they are also sincere in their delivery to the audience. Ethos can often involve a person talking about their morals or what they believe in. Ethos can also refer to a person's ability to talk about a subject that may be controversial in a way that is straightforward and not overly emotional. The next type of appeal is pathos. Pathos is another Greek word that actually means suffering or experience. But the pathos appeals are emotional appeals. So appeals to fear, appeals to hope, appeals to patriotism or duty. A writer will use emotional appeals not to create fallacious reasoning, but instead get the audience to feel emotional toward a particular subject. For example, they might give a sensory description of a scene or use similes and metaphors to help paint the image of what they're trying to get across. They might use examples from their own life or other anecdotes. Additionally, they might choose an object of emotion like certain people or pets or symbols that have emotional connotations. The pathos appeal is meant to tug at the heartstrings of the audience and to get them to feel emotional or a certain way about a particular subject. The next type of appeal is logos. Logos is the Greek word for word. And logos appeals specifically refer to logical reasoning or an appeal to reason. So a logical appeal or a logos appeal would, would use evidence like statistics or citing an authority or comparing two things in a very logical fashion. Usually the logos appeal stays far away from, types of, from certain types of fallacies in order to give a particularly straightforward and reasonable argument. A logos appeal might define a particular subject, use deductive or inductive reasoning in order to come to a conclusion, or use other logical arguments to go along with their topic or their argument. The last type of appeal that I didn't talk about in my last video, but I have done some research on it this time, is known as kairos. And kairos refers to the Greek word for right time, season, or opportunity. A kairos appeal usually refers to the timeliness of an argument. Oftentimes, ads or other arguments will be successful to use a specific time period or using a specific argument that comes with good timing. Kairos appeal or an appeal to time is a argument that's specifically given during a certain time in order to get a better response. For example, if you wanted to go to a party and you didn't know how to ask your parents, 
if you wanted to ask them right when they got home, when they were busy or stressed or frustrated with the day that they just had, you might not get the same response. If you waited until after dinner when they've calmed down, they've had a nice dinner, and they've enjoyed their evening to ask them about going to the party, you would be using a Kairos appeal because you'd be waiting for a specific time to present your argument. Originally, I always thought that there were three different types of appeals, ethos, pathos, and logos. It wasn't until recently that I was presented with the idea of Kairos as a fourth appeal. In your writing or when you're speaking or giving an argument, you shouldn't focus on one appeal or overly use one appeal as opposed to the others. Instead, the appeals are meant to work together in order to form a better argument and to have a more agreeable response from your audience or your reader. I hope this helped you better understand appeals in our writing and our speaking, and maybe you will get to use some of these appeals in your own writing and speaking. I hope you have a fabulous day, and I will see you in class. Bye!